were streaming. <laughs> People called me out for being awkward during the beginning of the stream. I'm going to try to be a little bit more confident in the beginning of the streams, I guess. I don't know. But today, guys, hopefully people will start joining soon. Um, we are doing Pokemon TCGO. And it says it's start, but I don't see anything happening. Okay, people are joining. There we go. Still a little bit not as confident. Okay, now I see myself. I look ugly. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> today we're doing the TCGO. What I actually want to do, as I'm shuffling Pokemon cards because I'm addicted, um is I want to do a tournament. So I'm going to let you guys decide. I haven't done a tournament in a very long time. As you can see here, I have 113 freaking tournament tickets and I just haven't bothered doing anything. Hello, hello everyone. Um, I d so I tried doing the chat like on the screen, but it looks super awkward. I think it should be showing up there. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad actually. Okay, that looks better than like I was testing with it. Should I keep up the chat chat? Do you want to see yourself chat? Do you want to keep talking? It looks a little weird. Looks like out of place, but maybe during the game it'll look fine. I don't know. I need to get a screen set up where my face cam will be somewhere for this, but I also want... I don't know. We'll see. Hey, h -Bow. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. When's the stream? We're streaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you've been, but we're streaming right now. So it might actually look uh, like... So okay, yeah. Some of the longer word sentences are off. We'll get over it for now. Sure. Okay, we'll keep it. But we want to do a tournament. I want to do a tournament. I have two decks that I... Well, I haven't actually been practicing and expanded, like, at all. At all. There hasn't been many tournaments around me either, so I haven't been practicing, like, in general as much. Um, but I'm always down to try Galissapod expanded deck with Seismitoad. Galissapod uh, Seismitoad. That's the first option. Wait, let's actually... Let's go to Events. I, I want to see... So, Standard and Expanded are both eight tickets. We're not doing Legacy. I don't have Legacy. Um, I missed the last stream. No! No! Um, but I'm down to do Xerneas Garb. Xerneas Garb is a deck that I have been practicing way more than anything else. I love it. I, I love it. I don't know why. It looks so straightforward. It is so straightforward, and I love it. You just set up with Xerneas. It's, it's so straightforward. And if your opponent relies on freaking... Um, setting up like uh, abilities and that kind of stuff. You just, you get garb out. It's so it's it's. There's not many options to it. It's just very straightforward, and I like that. Very very straightforward list. Oh, by the way, I got a subscriber thing. So if you guys aren't subscribed, try subscribing because I want to see if it works. And if you have subscribed and it doesn't work, th this is me baiting you guys into subscribing. I guess. <laughs> I have the test here, but I don't know if it's actually working or not. Yeah, that's, that's working, the test, but that's me subscribing. I don't know if that's other people subscribing or if it's going to work or not. So I'll let you guys, let me know, do you want to do Xerneas Garb in Standard or uh, Galissapod? Oh, there we go. Thank you for the, wow, that looks so messed up. Maddie Likes Butter, thank you so much for the for subscribing. Um, but Galissapod or Xerneas, which one? I am subscribed. Aw, thank you. Thank you for everyone that's always subscribed to you. Sorry. <laughs> Are you still playing Pokemon Go? My dad just got a bill for Pokemon Go. And, like, last time we checked, we had so much extra data. And I spent $270 worth of data, so I'm stopping Pokemon Go. Completely stopping. Not touching it anymore. I don't like how expensive I became. Guys, V, thank you so much for the follow. I'm going to say the follow. It's just that it's a lot easier. All right, chat. You're not giving me anything. Are we doing... Okay, I see a Galissapod. Are we doing Galissapod or Xerneas? You guys, Propane, thank you for the subscription. Xerneas. Chat, I need your help. I need your help. Xerneas or Galissapod? I need to know now. Sadie, thank you so much. I I love both decks. I really do. How long have you been playing Pokemon for... I mean, the TCG? The TCGO? Competitively a year? Something around there? Okay, a lot more Xerneas's. Okay, we're going with the Xerneas. Let me show you guys the deck before we continue, though. Like I said, very straightforward. Three three Tapu Lele's, four Xerneas. Three Xerneas Breaks. All that. Yeah, a lot more for Xerneas. I, I like this deck, too. Um, Max Elixir. It's, there's not much to talk about. Three Guzma, four N, four Sycamore. Hef, not like hefty, hefty, but oh my god, there's so many people subscribing. Thank you so much. Um, items, experience shares, choice bands. 
three DCEs, 12 energies, heavily reliant on energies, actually. So if you guys don't know how it works, Geomancy, choose two of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a fairy energy and attach one to each of them. So that's getting two energies on per attack, which is really good. So if you're able to set up with Xerneas the first turn, the second turn, and the third turn, that's six extra energies. Hopefully you hit a DCE, you could attach to Tapu Lele, because Tapu Lele is also an attacker. But Xerneas breaks attack, it's awkward to read. Livestream does 20 damage times the amount of energies on your all your Pokemon. So you could be hitting huge numbers to knock out things such as Metagross, which has 250 HP. It's just a truck. It's an absolute truck. All right, we gotta get in the standard quick. Uh, Xerneas Garbodor. Where? Where? I know, Link, I'm upset too. Join, let me in. Okay, we're in with six out of eight people. If you guys aren't playing as well, get in here. It's, it's filling up quickly, but get in here. I wanna play against some people. Is the stream offline for anyone else? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Xerneas is so pretty. I love Xerneas too. I actually don't know if I prefer Xerneas or if I prefer Yveltal. Oh, that was loud. Um, choosing which one? Competitive wise, I love Xerneas though. I love Xerneas. K Place, thank you for the subscription. Master Anan. You lost. So he's got the Sogaleo. Which scares me a little bit, because Solgaleo is kind of tanky and hard to knock out. But we do have a beautiful start. This deck also heavily relies on getting a good start. I don't know if... I think he chose to go first. I may not bridge it this turn, because I do need to hit an energy. Okay, he went first. I need to hit an energy. It's working for me. Oh, thank God. My stream health went down to yellow for a second, so I didn't know if I was lagging out or what was happening there. No, I'm sorry, guys. As in, guys, V. Okay, he's gonna. Interesting. I am gonna turn down the the audio in here. Master volume. Oh Jesus! All the way down. All the way down. Apply. Okay. I think I need to straightforward. I want to bridge it so bad. But I can't fall behind on a turn of Geomancing. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to be able to bridge it this turn. I am going to get rid of that for now. Because I don't need that to late game. Going to grab another Xerneas. Let's see what's prized. Okay. It doesn't look like anything too much yet. One Ultra Ball. No Bridgets. No Ends. No Sycamores. One Choice Band. One Experience Share. Two energies. Okay, we're fine. Nothing too crazy is prized. Uh, we can max elixir as well. Um, but we're going to have to end here. The reason why I didn't bridge it was because I didn't have an energy and I want to get Geomancy off this turn. Hopefully we hit a Pokemon. No Pokemon, but we did hit an energy. Not the best start, but not the worst at least. And we do have Guzma, which I think I'm probably just going to end up getting rid of. I'm going to save the Fairy Garden. Not an ideal first turn. If it was ideal, instead of that Max Elixir, I would have hit a Fairy Energy. We didn't even hit the Max Elixir. And I would have been able to get Trubbish and two Xerneases down. Get two Energies across the board. And just suck. Ah, give H all the energy. I need it. We're, oh, it's a Scizor? Scizor can one-shot me. Scizor might just knock out my Xerneas this turn. He's got Great Balls? No! This is not a good deck to lose to. If he retreats this turn... Oh, no. Okay, Cosmo has three retreat costs. I thought it had one. If he retreated this turn and knocked me out, I would have been so screwed. I would have been in so much trouble. Or if he just gets a Solgaleo out this turn, then he could use the ability, which is why I need to get Trubbish out. No! No! Is he going to episode of the... Yep, yep. Guys, I think I'm losing this game just immediately. I need to top deck a Bridget right now, or just something to help me out. Because the Choice Band is going to help, but the Gale Thrust being able to do... Or he's going to Soul Burst. I'm fine with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm completely fine with this. Um, Gale Thrust would be doing 60 plus 50, 110, 220 because of weakness. So, yeah. I, I mean, maybe it was smarter for him to do that, but I don't know. You shouldn't worry about attacking with Sogaleo. In my opinion, because you're just going to lose the energies. Um, we hit the DCE. That doesn't help too much. He's got no no cards. But he is completely and utterly set up. We're just going to have to Sycamore. I need to hit some basic Pokemon. I need to hit a Trubbish. Or not. 
All right. <laughs> I need Bridget for next turn. I can't believe I'm going to lose to someone that uses a great ball. I feel so bad right now. Two great balls. Wow. Okay. Um. Experience share on you. We have to set up for next turn, basically. <sighs> yeah, Geomancy. Geomancy. Xerneas is getting knocked out this turn. If he's smart, he'll use Ultra Road and bring up either one of the Scissors and knock me out with that. Oh my god. He's got no cards. He's got no cards and I'm losing. Okay, he's going to Ultra Road. Bring up the one without the Choice Band. How do you feel about the new Ultra Beast cards? I haven't looked too much into them. A lot of people are hyping up the... Uh, Oh, the Buzzwall one, um, because it's basically a reprint of Landorus, which is kind of cool, and I'm kind of all for that. Um, I don't know how good it's going to be, though. If we could just stall him out, but I don't think we can. I, I need to get, oh, great. I need to get Trubbish down. There we go. Mm, we do that. I, I can't hit Max Elixirs. I run 12 energies, although I've gone through a lot of my energies. Okay, Geomancy, put it on, is there any point to putting another one on Lele? No, not really. This Xerneas is going to go down too, but hopefully, once he goes down, as long as he doesn't hit a field blower, that's going to go, eh. Um, that's going to go onto the top of Lele, so we'll be doing 40, 80, 120, 140, 160, 180. We'll be able to knock out the Scizor, but I'm not too worried about the Scizor. I mainly want to knock out the Soul Galeo so Ultra Road can go down. Oh, you. Okay. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world, but I do want to get Garboder set up. We're still going to be able to knock him out, which is fine. I need to hit a Rescue Stretcher or Super Rod off his end. First time catching you live. Awesome. This is my second time being live. Um, Xerneas is good. Let's put it on Mew. Wait, why did I put it on? Oh, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I have Fairy Garden. How much are we doing? Let me make sure. 20, 60, 100. Thank you for subscribing, Malik Ernest. Um, I lost count. <laughs> 60, 100. 160, 200. And, okay. I hit none of what I needed. Okay, experience share on you, retreat out. We're just going to have to knock out. Next turn, I might be able to knock out that Sogaleo. 200. So if he doesn't hit a field blower, if he doesn't hit a field blower, we'll get both of those energies back. We'll attach... I can choice band, but then I also want to Guzma and grab him, assuming that he doesn't attack with it. I want to Guzma attack with him, so I would need to top draw into a Xerneas Break or an Ultra Ball or something like that. Your beard game is stronger than his, though. I don't know. My beard game right now is low. I keep trimming. Oh, boy, two Sogaleos. That's fun. <laughs> oh, I, I run two Super Rods and one Rescue Stretcher for instances like that where they focus on my Trubbish. And I'm not able to hit it. But I will be able to knock out the Scizor. So his only attackers are going to be Sogaleo, which once he attacks once with them, they're done for. Which is why I don't like that he didn't... I don't even know what I'm going to say here. I already lost count. We have Fairy Garden up, so it doesn't matter who I bring up. All right, Xerneas break. Nope. Okay, we Tapu Lele. Yes. I think we end here. There they are! I want you in my life. How many Xerneas breaks do I have? Just one? I think one's prized? Yeah, one's prized, it looks like. If I end... Ooh, sorry, I hit the microphone. It's unlikely that I hit the goodies, but I want to put him back, and I don't want to get rid of two Guzmas and all these, these goodies. I don't want to lose all my goodies. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of these items because I feel like he doesn't play to, uh, field blower. Yeah, just add. Mm, I don't like that. We did hit the Xerneas break and we did hit a super rod too. Okay. I think it's too late to get Trubbish out. I think we just do that. Thank you for subscribing, Isabella. H is deep in thought right now. Um, he has three prizes remaining. Yeah, I think I just need to do that. Yeah, because I already have one that's about to be set up. We're going to set up this dude right here. Why did I get my two Guzmas back? <laughs> the two Guzmas that I just did not want back, I got back. This is hitting for 240, so... Give me something good. Another... Give me all the items. <laughs> I don't need the items. I'm good on items. I don't know if I could win this. He needs to hit another steel energy. Thank you, Abby Cat. How's Link doing? Link is good. Link is down here underneath me eating his toy. Great ball. Don't hit like a Lele or something. That's fine. You could hit the Scizor. I don't mind that. So right now we're doing 240. I will get both of these energies back. That's fine. You could do you could do that if you want. He's hitting like a chain of things. Okay. Is there any way? Oh, you suck. Okay. Wait, I think he just gave me the game. He just gave me the game. Yeah, he just gave me the game. <laughs> All right. Um, basically, next turn he shouldn't have put the scissor down because I was doing two forty. With choice band two seventy. Yeah, no, I just won. But I had to get the Xerneas out. So let's do the math here. Give me these two back. I'll grab you guys back before I do the math correctly. 60, 120, a lot. Yeah, we're knocking out the Scizor. He let me right back into this game by just doing that. He should have knocked out the Xerneas break, so I would have struggled. Uh, hey, look, it's you. You go down. We Guzma, grab you. And life stream. Yay! <laughs> First round of tournament, we just barely squeaked by. I should not have won that. Do you like Fennekin? Because that's my favorite Pokemon. I do like Fennekin. Who else was in that? It was like Chestnut. And what was the what? Froki. I do like Froki more than Fennekin, though. I do love a pizza or Chipotle. I need to turn back up this volume. It's way too low. I turned it way too far down. Um, Chipotle over everything. No doubts in my mind. Audio. So people watching later on... There we go. People watching later on, you could skip this. This is, we have to wait for Diego and Alive inside. Right now, I'm just going to talk to the chat. Oh, God. <laughs> Yay, I won. I was not, I was not thrilled by that win, though. Do you like Cyndaquil? Of course I like Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is one of my, just, like, is one of, like, the go-to starter Pokemon. Favorite deck? My favorite deck changes from time to time. Um, right now, my go-to's, I think my favorite deck just... In general is Tapu Bulu I love Tapu Bulu I use it too much though Tapu Bulu okay I, I've made a new deck and I do like it a lot new addition to Terminator GX coming through my least favorite card coming through for the Metagross matchup Terminator so good against Metagross and everything play Volcanion next round I, I, I can't change my deck right now we're doing Xerneas I freaking me and Volk have had a falling out recently I played Volk and all I ran into was Gardevoirs, and Volk and Gardevoir do not mix together well at all. Guard always wins. Guard always wins. It's so hard to get, like, a. You have to go super fast with Volk, and if your opponent Bridget's, I think you just lose first turn. Like, that's it. I went from one Lele to four just in three days, just pulled one. Oh, dang, nice. Congratulations. The Leles. Leles are like 70 bucks right now. It's gross. Um, favorite starter of all time? It has to be Charmander. I love Charmander. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Yes, I look like Theon Greyjoy. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm all caught up on Game of Thrones, reading all of the predictions. Not re well, watching. I watched the videos about, oh, next game. Okay, sweet. Uh, reading all of the, not predictions, what are they called? Like, theories? Like, 
I don't, I don't know. I think there's another word for it that I just can't think of. H, you think you're gonna make it to the worlds? Of course I am. <laughs> I, I, I do feel confident that I will make it to the worlds. I already have like a hundred something points, I think. I just need to start. There hasn't been many tournaments around me, so I haven't been able to go like league cups in a very long time, which sucks, and it makes me sad. I want to go for league cups. All right, this is a good start. Uh, the cool thing about this deck as well, this deck as well, is um. You could go first or second. Please don't be Volk. Please don't be Volk. Please don't be Volk. Please don't be Volk. Okay, it looks like it's a Volk, but I'm not 100% sure. It could be any fire deck. Volk is a massive issue for this deck if they Kiawe first turn. But luckily, I went first, so it's not as much of a threat. Yes, I would like one more card. Ah, beautiful. It is a Volk. Great. Fantastic. Okay, we went first, though. We're going to bridge it. 1N is prized, Garb is fine, Xerneas is fine, Lele is fine, 1 Rescue Stretcher, that's 2, 1 Ultra Ball, 1 Choice Band, 2 DCEs hurts. Okay. Not the end of the world, but the 2 DCEs being prized sucks. Uh, I'm going to grab... Oh, this is just a beautiful start. Just those two. I need to keep my hand open. Thank you, Pansy the Panda. Um, I'm going to keep that spot open for uh, the Lele for next turn and just pass. I don't need to place down the Choice Band, although maybe I should have. Maybe I should have tried baiting out a Field Blower early. Just hoping. How many Squirtles do you need to cut a tree? You Charmander. <laughs> oh, what do you get rid of Potown? Well, that's good for me. Thank you for getting rid of... You got a Shauna? Get that out of here. You don't play Shauna. Don't play Shauna. So land it. Okay, so it's a Firebox deck. As long as he doesn't hit a Kiawe, and it doesn't look like he's going to. Okay, this is where his deck gets scary for me. If they Kiawe first... Turn, luckily, it's only on a Volk, so it's not the end of the world. But it's just so scary. It's just so scary. And how is even how is your evening? <laughs> My evening has been good. I just actually uploaded Pixelmon. Oh, it's uploading. It's not uploaded yet. Oh, great. Okay, DCE goes on you. I'm gonna throw the choice band on Shrubbish. Going to Sycamore, not N here. Because I don't want him to get a new hand because he only has two cards. I'm going to attach to you. It does suck to get rid of these two. The I mean, the, the fairy energy I could get back with Super Rod. So it's not that big of a deal. Give me the Garbodor. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, Fairy Garden can go down. I don't want to use that yet. XP share in case he field blowers. And Geomancy. Ooh, okay, we got a good start. We do. Unfortunately, the one downside is my opponent was able to Kiawe. But, how much would we be doing? Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna have to Geomancy again next turn. And he will be able to knock out my main Xerneas here. So it's a little... Fave Evolution, Scary. Oh, okay. Garboder. Stings the nostrils. Not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world. The fact that we got him to focus on that gives me a little bit of confidence. I really didn't expect him to be able to do that. Um, because we can super rod and get the back in the the game, um, and get the energy back in there too. We'll throw that on you. <sighs> yeah, XP share on you, and we're just gonna sycamore. I need to keep that spot open for Trubbish. There he is. Sometimes good things just happen to good people. I love it. Can I knock out? So Fairy Garden's in place, so I can retreat out to him. 20, 60, 100, 20. No. Even with hitting this Max Elixir, it's not going to. Uh, Trubbish. Right? Hold on. 40, 80, 120. Yeah. With Choice Band, it would be doing uh, 10 short. So it's not worth it. Uh, I don't think we do anything here. No. If he feel blowers, I want him to keep stuff on for me. Okay. 
We're running out of geomancers to be able to use, but I think we're fine. We should be hitting the numbers we need to now. What animes do you watch right now? I don't watch any animes. Um, I do need to catch up on some. This, this girl's name is Triple Double. Um, once Attack on Titan comes back, I'm watching that. Choice Band. Do you have a dead hand? Lele. Oh, the last card's a Lele. Let me see the Sycamore. Or the Guzma. You going Guzma? No, you're going to Sycamore. Okay. Well, you wouldn't be able to retreat if you did Guzma, so yeah, no, that was smart. Okay. I still think we're fine. How much is livestream doing now? 20, 60, 120, 160, 180 on the dot. If Xerneas goes down, which he should be going down this turn, no, he shouldn't be. My opponent used Volcanic Heat last turn, so he would need to hit like a switch in a float stone or a switch in an energy. I swear to God, if you have the Kiawe this turn, I swear to God, if you have the Kiawe this turn, I will go ballistic. You're going to nice your tank. Okay, that's a good play. Do you watch Rick and Morty? Yes, but I'm not caught up on season three. I don't know where to watch Rick and Morty for season three. I'm so lost in life. Okay, so good news is let's see what he focuses on. Do you two and two? Do we just Guzma and grab the Ho-Oh? 20, 60, 120, 160, 180. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just Guzma and grab the Ho-Oh. Let's take big knockouts. Yeah, and if the Xerneas goes down, next turn we'll grab a Lele. Hope to hit Garboder. Let me do the math. Hold on, I have to do this one more time. All right, four, eight, four, seven, nine, ten, two hundred. Knockout. We don't need the choice bin. I want to save the items for Garboder. Or until I need them. Okay, there's the DCE, beautiful. It says there's one person in your, watching your stream. I'm so unpopular. I have no friends. <laughs> I'm so lost in life. What's your favorite episode of any, the Pokemon Pokemon any series? Yeah, there's the field blower. Okay, nice. I'm glad that we kept the choice band. Um, the Magmar vs. Charizard episode where... Uh, what's his name? Ash fought Blaine in the first generation. It was such an awesome battle. Seeing Charizard go in the volcano. Alright, there's the baby Volk. Does he have anything to refresh his hand? I'm assuming since he Ultra Balled, he does. Yeah. Since he Ultra Balled for the Baby Volk instead of the... Why did you bring your bed out here, buddy? Why did you do that? Oh, beautiful! Arr. Okay, so we can... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's see if we can get something good on this. I may have to Lele. Mm, how do I do this, please? Bring you up. I made Lele. Okay, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Ooh, oh, boy. Okay. We're fine and dandy now. Um, yeah, no, just experience share. I need to hit a Xerneas break. I need to hit a Xerneas break. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. Ah, uh, yeah. No, come on, Xerneas break. I don't like getting rid of an Ultra Ball. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Super Rod as well. Everything is glorious in life right now. Yeah, no, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Xerneas break. How much are we doing right now? That 30 damage might end up mattering. Um, 40, 80, 120, 140, 160, 180, 210. Evolve just in case he ends me. And live stream knockout. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Energy and another energy. Okay. Okay, so he cannot volcan it doesn't matter if he volcanic heats me. Actually it might. Who is he? I think why did he bring up does he have the Guzma? Show me the Guzma. Why would you bring up Lele over bringing up the baby Volk if you don't have the Guzma? I know you got it. I know you got it. I think you've only used one, maybe two so far. One. Yeah, just one triple-double. 
What is the worst card to get? I'm not sure. Uh, depends on depends on the set, pretty much, I guess. From Burning Shadows, the worst ultra rare. Like, there's obviously, like, rares that suck and that kind of stuff. Worst ultra rare? I can't think off the top of my head. I can't think of what's in Burning Shadows off the top of my head. I know I got so many freaking... Yeah, there's the Guzma. I got the Guzma right back, though. So we fine. He's going to be getting set up. We just win. Yeah, we have the Guzma for game. Uh, let's grab him. Bring you up. Uh, Tash, just in case. I don't know if this, this should be mo way more than enough. Should be 230. Yeah. 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 Xerneas Garb. I love it. Machamp is awful. Is Machamp Burning Shadows? It is Burning Shadows. Yeah. No, Machamp is the worst. 100%. I remember that's the least, um, that's the GX I pulled the least of in freaking Burning Shadows, and I'm so happy about that. Burning Shadows is actually a pretty decent set. Not the best uncommons, but mm, could be worse. Favorite evolution. I think you've asked me this, I just totally haven't answered it by accident. Um, I love Jolteon. <laughs> I think it's got to be Jolteon. I'm not too confident in that, but I love Jolteon. I love your channel. Thank you, Rihanna. Oh, okay. Now we get a break. Now I get to talk to chat because we have to wait for the other game to end. I'm going to cross. Oh, by the way. World's okay as dad. 100%. Oh, Alola Muck sucks too, but Alola Muck is... Okay, so real talk. When I went to the Anaheim Open, first round, I played against Alolan Muck with my Tapu Bulu deck. It's scary. I won, but it was scary. Alolan Muck hit such good numbers. With Solandit, uh, Baby Solandit. It's so good numbers. How long are you streaming for? I try to aim for about an hour, so another half an hour. I think after this tournament, we'll do some random games. I think that'd be fun. I need a new Pokemon game to play. What should I buy? The newest one, uh, Sun and Moon. If you have a 3DS, Sun and Moon is such a great game. So good. If you had to kill one person out of Will, Crazer, Shoes, Andrew, and Push. Um, to kill. Oh my god, Link got very excited from that. Hi, buddy. Um, Grazer. 100% Grazer. <laughs> H, what's better, a Ranger or Octillery? It depends on the deck. Um, it depends if you want to. If it's more of a setup deck, I suggest Octillery. If it's more of. Oh crap, I just want. I like empty bench space all the time. I want to throw in a card, a Because a Rangaroo does three, but it's a basic. Octillery does five, but it's a stage one. All right, normal psychic. Don't know what to wait for or what to expect. Could you catch my favorite Pokemon, Ponyta and Pixelmon? I really love your videos. Oh, thank you, Rowie. Um, maybe I'm not a big fan of Ponyta. <laughs> I'm not. It's cool. I'm not a big fan of it. I've never really liked using it. Klutz, Klutzway, thank you. Ah, uh, we need a basic for subscribing. Are you gonna be in Harmony season three of Harmony Hollow? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We have a surprise coming up very soon that you guys should be excited for. This is Link. He's very happy right now. Are you happy? You a happy puppy? Yeah? Okay, it's a garb deck. I wonder how I'm going to play against this. I haven't gone through too many garb decks uh, with Xerneas, so a little scared. I think we both had one mulligan. I have to be careful with items is the big thing. And I don't have to worry about Trubbish Garbador this game because they're going to have that set up for themselves. Uh... sucked hi buddy okay we just pass he's not gonna be able to knock me out this turn we just pass <sighs> so I think we have one in there right now yeah just one not a pretty discard pile you deserve way more subscribers than you do I'll oh, thank you um, H how is your day going it's pretty good it was going really good before that opening hand of grossness. Can you stop licking me? I'd appreciate that. All right, is he going to lay... Don't, don't end. Don't end. Just leave me be. Leave me be. Don't end. Bridget, Lily, that's way better. You go for the Lily for like four cards. You do that. Three cards. All right. I feel a lot more confident. 
Can you show us Link, please? I, he just was on screen. He doesn't get that much screen time. Yo, Blower, yeah, I expect it. That's actually fine. I don't expect to use that choice band. Stomp off, don't hit anything good. Okay, we Lele or Bridget. One of my Bridgets is prized. No Guzmas. Looks like one Sycamore. I know I got rid of one, so yeah, one Sycamore. No Xerneas's, no Lele's, no Max Elixir's. One Super Rod? No, no Super Rods. No Ultra Balls. One and one again, it looks like. No, just one choice band. And it looks like a bunch of uh, energies. All right. <laughs> We'll be able to get our Geomancy off this turn, and that's the important thing. Uh, we don't need Trubbish or Garbodor this turn. Like I said, neither of us rely on... I'm going to throw down one next Elixir, two. Neither of us rely on hitting... I'm, I'm hitting uh, abilities is what I'm trying to say in my head, but it wasn't coming out correctly. Um, okay, yeah, we're fine. I don't want to place on the that one yet the Xerneas break just because of the fact that um that would have to go on the basic pokemon and i i kind of hope that the Xerneas goes down in the future uh, maybe a few turns from now but right now i'm scared okay kakui how much is garb doing with kakui 40 60 100 okay no knockout no knockout. Even with field blower, no knockout. So we fine. We fine. We dandy right now. We freaking dandy right now. Okay, I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to Ultra do that. Ultra Ball away those two and grab a Lele. That's actually nice. So I'll be able to super rod all those back in there. I'm using way more items than I'd like to. But I feel like I could do knockout for knockout. And we do Sycamore. 100% do Sycamore. If we had a Max Elixir Energy... Xerneas Break. Okay. No, we couldn't have done that. Um, Xerneas Break on you. And... One, two, four, six, so 120. If he does feel or he's not able to knock out my Xerneas Break. Okay. Yeah. You and you. Whew, okay, we're having a pretty good start. At this point, I feel confident that... Okay, it's either going to be like Espeon, Garb, I'm assuming. You have a good deck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You have a good deck, too. Um, I'm hoping that I could knock out any of those. So I will be getting that back, unless he field blowers me. So 20, 80. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. That sucks. That hurts. All right, there goes him. Um, the question is, do I knock out the Lele? Because I can Guzma knock him out, so that might not be the worst play. Or do I just knock out this dude? Do I take a lead on the prize game? The reason why I have to decide this now is if I want to Guzma. I should Guzma regardless, I guess. I'll be able to grab him right back. Alright, let's do... Let's just knock out this Garbodor, I guess. And like I said, I'll be able to grab him right back. So I think we're good. Rescue Stretcher. Grab back you. Um, put that on you. Yeah, just knock out. Overkill. I could have knocked out the Tapu Lele if I placed on the DCE instead of the uh, energy there. So that's why I was considering it. But we did hit it up Sycamore, which is nice. If I could bleed out his resources and get rid of his garbs, right now we're fine. So that's why I'm thinking about doing that. Grabbing the two prizes might have been beneficial to see what I got, but I did hit the Sycamore, so I'm fine. I don't remember what exactly was prized. I don't think there was a... I think like a Lele was prized. I don't think there was a Xerneas Break prize. If there was a Xerneas Break prize, I'd consider... Um, was that rescue stretcher a mistake? Did I ah, got? I gotta be careful with my items. Um, I would have considered going for the lele, but I don't think there is. Four, seven. Okay, seven. 
He needs to hit a field blower in order to hit the knockout. I shouldn't have placed that rescue stretcher yet. That was dumb of me. Because if he field blowers, then he still wouldn't be able to knock me out. But if he field blowers now, he will be able to knock me out. Once he's next run two, he's got he's already used one. How do you start playing Pokemon? Um, I've collected TCG cards since I was very, very young. And it was just like, kind of like, why not start playing the TCG, like actually playing it? Hey, Animal Cracker, what's your favorite legendary? Ooh, I love Articuno. It's not a good Pokemon. Okay, I guess he went AFK. <laughs> nice, easy win for me. Yay. Yay! And next turn I knock out this Lele. So, I think we're fine. And if he does, if he is back and he places down a Trubbish, I Guzma knock him out. I focus on him. Okay. Do I do that? Let's see what else he does. Why didn't he attack me? It wasn't going to knock me out, but this turn his Lele would have knocked me out. And I don't have a backup Xerneas break. Hey, there's the field blower. Hey. Just came from Lockles last year. Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, he did place one of those down. I think I actually Ultra Ball grab a Xerneas break here. Place a DCE down on one of the Lele's. And Guzma and grab the uh, Trubbish and just knock him out. Because that's like the only attacker that I'm actually worried about. Now, now I can use items because I don't care. Get rid of those. Xerneas break. Put you down and Guzma. Grab you. Knock you out. And now this Lele isn't going to be able to knock me out either. Put that on you. And live stream for knockout. Not letting them string anything together. That's the nice thing about like being able to just knock out these trubbishes easily. They're going to struggle to get that up. That's why I'm surprised. I haven't seen like a Drampa or Espeon yet. Those are your immediate attackers. Those are what you want in Garboder decks. Altar of the Smoon. You don't have a Psychic or Dark Energy on you, so you can't use that yet. H, I love you all. Thank you. H, where's Merpanda? Merpanda's not with us anymore. Hey, buddy. Link's asleep on me right now. I can't get over the t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. I'm, I'm the world's okayest dad. Ask Link. Okay, he grabbed those three back. Is he going to end me here? It's like the play that he has to make. He has to end me. Might be fine even... Alright, Guzma and grab. Okay. Not a bad play. We're still hitting numbers, though. Wait, we just won. Yeah, we just won. Alright. We'll say well played. And throw you down here and just live stream for knockout. I didn't even need that energy, but I did it just in case. Hey, Choice Band! Alright, we won the tournament, guys! Yay! Give me something good, please. 25 coins, all right. I see how it is. All right, we got four Burning Shadows, one Breakpoint, and one Sun and Moon. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go open these bad boys. Collection. First, you were the real cool grandpa. I'm still the real cool grandpa. We all know I'm the real cool grandpa. Let's open this guy first. I'm going to say the Breakpoint. I feel like Breakpoint's going to go up in price, like trading-wise, so I like holding on to Breakpoints. Um, but Burning Shadows, I'll, I'll open. We'll open five right now. Eh. Crabominable. The bad, well, I was going to say the bad Crabominable, but neither of them are particularly good. Pokemon Catch. <laughs> I have a lot of those. Avalanche. The deck does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Eh. That's so much energy and not even you being able to use a DCE. Blech. Blech. Alright, what we want from this is any secret rare possible. Any secret rare I'm fine with. Particular, I'd prefer not getting the bodybuilding dumbbells, but if I get it, hey, could be, oh, a reverse Ralts. Alright, is that that's three. I need one more. All right, that was a good card, at least. Guzma and Sophocles as well. Speaking of the worst uh, ultra rare to get, <laughs> a card I'll never use, Machamp GX. So a lot of people are like, he's got 250 HP. He's He's got his mock pun mock muscle punch. <laughs> Such a terrible name for a card, for an attack. It does 180, and it's not affected by resistance. So the muscle punch GX card attack isn't bad i'll be honest um strong energy adds up to 20 plus choice band basically with choice band you're knocking out anything um there's still carving break in play but like 
three fighting energies, no DCEs, three fighting energies for 130, and you discard any stadium card in play, which might hinder you. Sucks. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this, okay, the first attack's not bad either. The really big downfall is it's a stage two. Freaking, um, what's his face is still in? Uh, not Lander. Zygarde is just a better card in general. Weakness to Psychic means it gets destroyed by like half the decks that are decent. So it's just, it's it's not a good card. It's not a good card. And any any deck, you should be running Gardevoir over that. There's no reason to be... Unless you're doing it for the memes, don't do not do Machamp. Don't do Machamp. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. You could do... Lycanroc is, I think, the best fighting deck out there right now. Do Lycanroc. Lycanroc's fun. Hello from Scotland. <laughs> it's just, as I just got the Stepland too. Hello, Daniel. And Pessimian. I love the name of Intentional Grounding. This kind of Pokemon tool from your hand, if you do... If you don't, this attack does nothing. It's a terrible card. That's a Terran. Dasha, thank you for subscribing. All right, we have two more cards. Give me at least, give me, a, give me a GX that isn't, or Ultra Red that isn't Machamp. All right. <laughs> I mean, I got a GX already, so I can't complain too much. But it had to be Machamp out of all of them. Give me at least a Hollow right now, or a good Reverse, but we didn't. We got some decent uncommons though. So Viper and Super Scoop up, and that's a good card. That's a good card right there. That's that's the full art we're looking for. That's a beautiful full art too. I love Salazzle. I think she's really cute and really cool and really sassy. Tyler the Frog, thank you for subscribing. Ultra Sun and Ultra or Ultra Moon. Ultra Moon. Ultra Moon. Ultra Sun. I don't go outside during the day. I hide until the nighttime. <laughs> and I love Lunala a lot more. All right, I want to do a few games with Galissapod. Galissa Galissapod. I don't know how to say his name. Galissapod. Um. Seismitoad, because I haven't been doing too much of that, and I want to get back into, um, expand it a little bit. I got two Sogaleo GX Full Arts and a Lunala GX Full Art. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We're on a one-win streak. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Heads. Viewers battles? I'm, I'm, viewers battles? So I get very frustrated when I have to wait around, and I'm scared that I'm going to just, like, sit there, like, stalling out the stream not doing anything so i'm a little afraid to do that maybe in the future i think that's more of a twitch thing than a youtube video for me um this is going to turn into a youtube video so if you guys want to see this later too if you missed any of the beginning you're able to watch it back don't worry you have legs mine's blown me too i didn't expect that um this hand isn't too bad hannah taylor thank you for the subscription um so What do I think is more important? Verbank City Gym. We're gonna Ultra Ball here. We need to get. You know what? No, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get rid of a VS Seeker. I'm doing it. Screw it. And we're gonna grab a Lele for Sycamore. Yeah, I can't Lele for Bridget. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I feel out of date with this because I'm so not used to seeing VS Seekers in play now. Um, Verbank City Gym. I don't know if this was the correct play. I feel like it wasn't, but we're going with it. Do that. And we do have the Wimp Out ability, which is nice. I'll attach to you, though. Tapu Lele for a Sycamore. This is looks like a Turbo Turtles deck. Sycamore. It looks like we're... I don't know the counts in this deck. <laughs> Ace Roll, I think I have three and four Guzmas. So two Guzmas are prized. Okay. That's not fun. Hopefully, we can hit a Coco promo right now. No Coco promo, but not, not the worst cards in the world. He shouldn't be attacking me this turn. I don't know what the correct play there was. We don't have any Lele, so I can't use that Ultra Ball to grab a Lele. I'm going to use that Ultra Ball probably to grab a... Um, uh, Octillery. That's what I'm going with right now. I wish you could have donked him. There was no way I was going to be able to donk him. I wish that was just... The best feeling with this deck is getting a Hypnotoxic Laser, Burbank City Gym, and see... Oh! No! Not the Blacksmith. I forgot about that being a thing. Okay, Kiawe, that's fine. That I'm not as scared of. I mean, Wimpod's going down. 100% Wimpod's going... I don't think I can win this one now. I might have to hit Seismitoad. 
I could slowly whittle him down. Oh, I'm knocking you out! I am knocking you out! I forgot about the Burbank City Gym! Get out of here, you knucklehead! Okay. Do I end here? Yeah, why not? Why not just end? Screw it. We're going for it. We got the seismitoad. Beautiful. This bench is gorgeous right now. Brrr. Turbo Turtles, get out of here. So we're doing 100. Knockout with the... Ah! Beautiful. Get that armor first. Mm -mm. Look at this. And he can't even use teammates if he wanted to, which I don't think anyone runs teammates in these kinds of decks. That Kiawe was wasted. I love it. And I got rid of that blacksmith too, so that Ho-Oh has no chance. Well, he might have a chance. I don't know. Oh! Oh my god, I love that. He should not have done that. Oh. <laughs> oh, the, the Glissopod. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. Alright, my guess is he's gonna try getting a baby Volk out. Ooh, getting rid of a VS Seeker too. Even though I got rid of one of mine. I am so not used to VS Seekers. I don't think I've played much expanded since VS Seeker became a thing. And I, I have a passion against VS Seeker because of how dumb it is. It's so broken. It's 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 just dumb. They have a new supporter coming out. I don't remember the name. I think it was Lusamine or something like that. Um, in the next set that's like, oh, you use this supporter, you grab two supporters out of your discard pile, and I think you put it into your hand, or maybe your deck, one or the other. It's an interesting idea. I mean, it kind of works. Oh, he's gonna Nitro Tank. But boy, I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out, so I'm gonna knock you out. I'm actually, oh, I know, I need to hit the Hypnotoxic Laser. I didn't, oh. I, I was confident I was gonna knock him out because I was like, I'm gonna have the Hypnotoxic Laser, and boy, you gonna get knocked out. You gonna get knocked out real good. <laughs> Uh, I was really hoping it, he said the famous line again. <laughs> the famous line, get out of here, you knucklehead. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up Sycamoring. If I can get a Guzma, I might do that. I have none in the discard pile. I, I'm not going to end here because any gets me nowhere. I need. I want to hit an Octillery. I should be checking if things are prized, but I have no idea what's in this deck. I have to get used to it again. Like, Xerneas Break, like, I played so much of, I know the ins and outs of it. This deck, I'm just not used to. I'm not used to it. He's getting his, he's filling up his Nitro Tank. Little does he know, I'm gonna dig to try to knock him out. He should have attached only three. Cause boy, you ain't surviving. We gonna get that Hypnotoxic Laser. I run four in this deck and we've only used three. Sycamore, I need you now more than ever to give me the Hypnotoxic Laser. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, we attach that to you. We have no toxic laser. So you see those four energies on there? Say goodbye. You could you could say your goodbyes now. There we go. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see Galissapod take down a Volk deck. A speedy turbo. It's called uh, Turbo Turtles is what this deck is. Because basically you rely on blacksmithing over and over again. You should not run more than one Kiawe in this deck. I think even one Kiawe is a stretch in this deck. I don't think you need it. Um, but a lot of people go for it. I don't recommend it. This is a good deck, but it's not looking too pretty against mine. Um, maybe... Let me think of what my options are right now. How does Charizard go in the water? By putting his feet first. Putting his feet first. Does he have any way of knocking me out? No. I, I'm going to try turning off his item cards. Because right now I just need to take one. Um, hmm. I do have a choice band that I could attach to Seismitoad. The issue is I'm getting knocked out right back. Don't have Blacksmith. Just don't have Blacksmith. Shaman. Ooh. Or I just knock out that Shaman. Thank you for the easy prize and the, the win unless you end me right now. You need to end me, buddy. If you don't end me, I win. If you don't end me, I win. If you don't end me, I win. Don't end me, I win. So don't end me. Don't do it to me. Don't do it. Don't do me dirty. Don't do me dirty. Just let me knock out that shaman. That's why no one runs shaman anymore. It's such an easy prize. Let me knock it out. Let me knock it. Oh, that's why I don't run four Guzmas in this deck. I have VS Seekers. Duh. Let me knock it out. Let me knock it out. Let me knock it out. Thank you. Now don't end. 
Don't end. Thank you. Still don't end. Well, you can't anymore. All right, I win. Oh, <laughs> uh, you. Shame it's more of a liability than anything. I'll never recommend. I mean, there's some decks where it's like one of them might be fine. This deck, I don't. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think you need it. I think you should play a Ranguru over Shaman. Or even Octillery. Octillery's not a bad call. Why is the audio so low? Because I don't talk loud. My mistake. I turn up. Do I sound... I turn up for what? I Guzma. And knock you out. Because Mama said knock you out. I didn't have to do that, but I did it. Yeah. I was going to do 150 doing with the choice band. Alright, give me a good price, please. Give me a pack. Or give me like 100 coins or something. That's that's bad. That's like the least. That's like the worst you get. Favorite legendary? I think it's gotta be Articuno. There are a lot. Oh, we hit something good over here. Where we get like two hundred coins. There's a lot of like I love Lugia. I love Ho Oh. I love lots of legendaries. Some of them are dumb. Yeah. I love Zekrom too. I don't know, there's a lot of legendaries I love, but I think it's Articuno. The fact that it's like OG and it's just so pretty, it's like the blue pigeon. The goddess of the blue pigeon. Oh, there's Stardust Jirachi? Hello? Alright, we're buying, what pack? Oh, it comes with Breakthrough? I already have one, yeah, I don't need it. Oh, well. Uh, do I get it still? Having two might be good. Uh, I'm getting it. That might have been a waste. I don't want to open Breakthrough. There's nothing I really need to break through. Like, if we get a freaking... Give me a reverse uh, float stone, please. Rev float stone. Do it. Do it. Rev float stone. Do it. Rev haunter is not bad. There's a new Gengar coming out soon that's actually pretty good. And this is... This haunter is the good haunter, too. So that's not... We have five. I didn't need it. But, hey. Morgan Sandberg, thank you for subscribing. God, that was a terrible pack. All right, we're going to do one more game. Hopefully, next battle is an annoying mill deck. Oh, thanks, Ray. Appreciate it. If I go up against Sableye, we're, we're, this is the last battle we're doing. If we go up against Sableye and I see that it's Sableye right away, I'm just quitting. I could beat Sableye. I'm just, I'm, I'm never in the mood to battle Sableye. Never in my life have I been like, oh boy, Sableye. It doesn't look like it is. Sable, well, it's not. Yeah, Sableye's dark. I saw Psychic Normal Grass, which makes me... I don't even know what... Tommy, thank you for subscribing. I don't even know what I think of. I think of Verizion for some reason. Ooh. Did I go first? I hope I didn't. I hope I did, actually. All right, we get to see what he's playing. Ooh, bats! Bats with some grass in it? Galissapod? Glissopod bats? Maybe? I could see that deck working, kind of. A little bit, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Scoop up Cyclone. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Trevenant. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Oh. Don't. Okay, no Wally. Thank God. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, we just bridge it. We gotta get set up on our own. Is Octillery prized? Nope, Octillery is there. I'm probably gonna end up needing that. So, if you guys don't know, Trevenant... Trevenant shuts off items, so what we're gonna do... <laughs> I hate this play. We're gonna do that. Bring up the free retreat, dude. Do that. Burbank City Gym. Get rid of those two. Keep the Sycamore. Grab the Octillery. Octillery might get me out of this. I can't use it yet, but still might be good. He didn't do any supporter that turn, so that makes me... Oh, I wish I hit the sleep on that. That makes me feel a little bit happier on the inside. Like, maybe he doesn't have anything, but that also makes me think that he has the Trevenant and he just doesn't want to use it yet. Or he's got the Golbat and he didn't want to use it yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this deck. Uh, not my deck. I I love my deck. I hate his deck. Ah. Ah. Okay, he's sycamored. Ooh, okay, those are two good cards that he sycamored away from me. Oh, boy, he got the Trevenant. And Golbat has free retreat cost, so he's able to get that back. 
Super scoop up. Oh, don't, 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 don't do this. But luckily, I don't think I'll be able to use Tree Slam this turn. Oh, he's got two Trevenants. Oh, boy. How much HP? 110? Okay. Good news is, I mean, Galissapod can one-shot you fairly easily. And you're not attacking me. Okay, beautiful. Um, I hate getting rid I should... I don't mind getting rid of the Guzma because I have VS Seekers. Forgot that was a thing. All right, Wimpod, you go down. You go down. Do I just go for the straight up? Yeah, I just go straight up for the knockout. Why would I not? Screw you and your Trevenant, boy. Abyssal Hand for one, because why not? Ooh, that's a good card to get. And knock out the Trevenant that he was setting up, because I hate your deck. I hate your deck with a passion. I hate it. Oh, congratulations, Animal Cracker. H, can you come to my graduation ceremony? <laughs> it's in June. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will never go to another graduation ceremony after my cousins. <laughs> I sat there for four hours, and I'm like, I can't do this again. Never again. I hate it. He did get... Oh, he could get Dimension Valley and hit me with uh, Silent Fear. And he got it. Yay. Oh, boy. Oh, the boy. Um, I'm not going to be able to knock out Trevin. I think it's got 160. Yeah, it's got 160. Muscle Band. Should he use Muscle Band? Use my soul band. Okay. Um, we got another Galissapod set up, which is good. We can't use items still, but we'll be able to do that in Colrus, so not the end of the world. Do I bench the Tapu Coco? Why not? Let's go for it. Bring him up, and we will. Just armor press. Yeah. There's 20 less to me this turn, so I I should be going down. Next turn I'll be able to ace Rolla. Did I attach that turn? I think I did. I hope I did. I might have forgotten. Wait, what just took damage? Oh, my Galissapod. I don't think I'll be able to knock me out, so I think I'm fine. I would love to be able to get rid of this Dimension Valley. Oh, you suck. Give me the Ace Roller back. Give me the Ace Roller back. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And a Grass Energy, please. That doesn't help me out. That doesn't help me out. Oh, there's Crobat, too. Okay. You you focus on that Tapu Koko. I'm fine with that. I'd much prefer you knocking out that Tapu Koko than the Electillery. We're knocking down this dude. I need Grass Energy. Do we Lele for Ace Roller? Why not? Let's go for it. Lele for Ace Arola. He has to hit a... Does 20 damage. Yeah, that's not knocking out Octillery. Okay, so he has to hit quite a bit. We'll grab all of that back. We'll place on, back down the Wimpod. Bring up Coco. Wimpod. And retreat out to you. And knock out. We just basically got rid of all that damage. That's pretty. Eh. Give me... That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't think I've used a Guzma yet. Well, I can't even use items. I have... Ah, crap. Uh, I might need that. I do want to knock out this Trev, though. He's got two Trevenants in there. Stop it. Where's my Octillery? That's my baby. This is the thing. It just picks off Pokemon. I'm glad that he focused down the uh, Octillery over the Wimpod, though. I hate this guy's deck. I hate it with a passion. Luckily, he's not going after big threats, though. Like, I'd be kind of scared. Ooh, Lysander. Ooh, no Guzma. Weird choice not to use Guzma. How would I get him out? I'd have to use Guzma. And I'd have to knock out something that I'd rather not knock out. We have 130. Ah! I think I Guzma grabbed the... Baby Trev, the Phantom. How much HP do you have? 40? Ooh. Ooh! Why do people use Shaman? I don't get it, Link. Are you sleeping? I'm sorry, I woke you up. I don't know why people still use Shaman. That's an easy knockout for me. That's an easy two prizes. I need that in my life right now. 
He's going for the tree slam, it looks like. It looks like he's not going to be able to get up the... The... Your boy. You got the Guzma. You should have used that over Lysander, in my opinion. Because if you have... I mean, you have so many free retreaters. You have Crobat. Golbat. All that fun stuff. You should be using Guzma, in my opinion, over that. Alright, we Guzma. We grab the Shaman. Knock it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what we do. I attach to you. Guzma. God, you just gave me two free prize cards. Thank you. Appreciate that. And now I could use my whole one item. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank golly goodness. I don't think it's going to come in handy at all, though. Sure. Why not? Uh, first impression. That just basically thins up my deck a tiny bit. Give me some good items. Choice Band, not a good item. VS Secret, not a good item. Well, maybe it is. If he doesn't bring up Trev... He's going to bring back up Trev. Why would he not? Ugh. Who is H-Bomb? I'm H-Bomb! <laughs> That's me! That's me! Um, if I do hit a lot of items, I can still... Sycamore? And I will be able to knock out... That Trev, I think? With Crosscut GX? Yeah, as long as it doesn't become... Oh. 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 That's terrible. That's absolutely atrocious. Um, how do I get you out of there? I think I only run two Guzmas, maybe three. Do I just quaking punch here? Okay, so quaking punch would mean I can knock out yeah. Oh, this is going to be two prize cards that I don't like giving up. I'm going to suck them more and get rid of all these cards because I don't want half of them. Um, don't want to place on Wimpod. That's, that'll be an easy prize. Quaking Punch is not going to be able to use items, which is good. And if he does knock me out, I bring up Coco and then first impression, knock out. Oh, but I wouldn't knock out Trevenant Break. I just got to hope that he doesn't hit it. I do have... Three more DCEs in play. He's got two in there. And he can't use a Rescue Stretcher. He can't use a Super Rod. He can't use a VS Seeker. Okay, we fine. For now. I think I have this. I think I'm fine and dandy. I think I just placed... I think I'm just going to try playing it smart here. Do I Sycamore and I'm down to two? Let's end I'm down to two. No, wait, let me make sure. Uh, if he gets a choice band down, he's able to knock him out. Okay, we just got to hope that he doesn't hit anything. Yeah, anything I think is the best play here. The reason why I attached the uh, grass energy get it out of my deck just in case ace roll up oh the plays okay that'll set me up for the next turn too we bring you up we knock out with first impression next turn we'll be able to ace roll or grab you and then hit for 120 burbank city gym might be good free retreat on you yeah that's to be expected don't hit like a sycamore don't have a sycamore or an n just leave me be just let me have the hand i have right now even if, mm, so even if, okay, oh, ew, no, don't play that Trevenant, don't play that Trevenant, you, you go ahead and attack me with that Trevenant, I'm fine with that, you're not going to be able to get the, yeah, you're not going to be able to get your Black Ray GX off, so we're fine, unless you hit the, like, a Max Elixir and DCE, I think we're fine right now, um, I need to, a, hit a VS Seeker or Guzma to win. B, a DCE. Not anymore. All right. A Grass Energy doesn't help me out too much. Uh, get rid of that. Oh, he could hit a DCE and just won the game. I forgot that Dimension Valley was up. Ooh, okay. Um... 
face roll or grab you? I don't know. I don't like bringing up that guy, though. That's the other issue. Wimpod. Attach. Um, hmm. What I should have done was attach the grass energy to the Lele attack with Lele. First impression. I think we're fine, though. I need to hit a DC. I'm not going to be able to knock him out the following turn unless I hit a DCE or a Choice Band or an Asa Rolo or VS Seeker. I have a lot of outs, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but I need to hit something. Hey, Tor, I got a shiny Bulbasaur, and it was bold nature with 5 out of 6 perfect. Die. I'm so jealous. That was another out that I did not even consider. That was incredibly lucky, and I totally spaced out about that. That's doing the perfect amount of damage to knock this guy out. <laughs> Literally. Alright. And there's the choice band I needed. Ugh. Oh, that was a fun battle. I hate Trevenant. So does the rest of the world that doesn't play it. What I hit? Oh, Seismitoad. Ah, oh, Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Or stream, well both, kind of. Yeah, both. Yeah, both. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, expect Pixelmon in, what time is it? 3.30? If you're watching the live stream in an hour. 4.30. Anyways, guys, get out of here. <gasps>